All right, guys, here we go. An example of using long division to divide polynomials here. So a binomial, we're dividing into a four-term polynomial. And let's set this thing up using our steps over here. We're going to go quotient, divisor, or dividend. So this thing here, remember, the x plus, minus 2. That is what I'm dividing into this entire polynomial. So this is my divisor. So I put it over here, x minus 2, my division house, right there. And then the dividend is all this stuff. So it is 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1. Side note right here, guys. If there happens to be a missing term, you still need to allot for, just like when we did synthetic substitution, you still need to allot and hold that spot. So you put a zero in there for that. If it's like, say for example, it's not, it's, it was missing this entire term. It didn't have like a, a negative x squared. You'd have to put that in here. You'd have to put zero x squared. You'd have to still hold that particular spot. Okay? That was a side note. Just thought of that. Regardless though, um, I actually have all of my terms here. They are in standard form. They're written down in descending order. That's great. So I have everything set up and ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Step number one. We are going to divide, whoops, sorry. We're going to divide the div dividend's highest power. The dividend happens to be this right here. I'm going to use different colors so you can see what's going on. The dividend's highest powered term is that guy right there. I'm dividing that highest powered term by the divisor's highest powered term. So it's always the first thing into the first thing. That's what you're always looking at. So when I take, I'll go over, over here to the right. 8x to the third, and I divide x into that. Moder, what about this minus 2? Nothing. It just kind of stays there. You're only ever concerned with the first term and the first term. The highest power term here, and the next highest power term in this particular dividend. So when I divide this, it gives me 8x. And remember, this 8x right here, 8x to the third divided by x, is 8x. Whoops, sorry, messed up. Say it didn't sound right. 8x squared. So this 8x squared, that thing right there, as it says here, this gives you the next term in the quotient, which means 8x squared is going to go up here. And as I told you guys in class, let's keep things in order. Let's keep things in line. So since this 8x squared um, is the next thing up here, I wouldn't put it above the x third column. I put it above the x squared column to keep things in nice, organized fashion here. So I'm going to put an 8x squared right there. Okay, so again, all that is is taking this first thing into that particular first thing. And that's what I got when I divided it, 8x squared. So that's beautiful. So step number two, now I'm going to actually distribute the monomial that I just got here, 8x squared. I'm going to distribute that to everything in the divisor. Everything in the divisor. So I'm taking this 8x squared, I'm actually going to take and multiply it to this, and I'm going to multiply it to this. I'm distributing it to everything, everything. So 8x squared, when I multiply that to x, that gives me 8x cubed. And notice I'm putting that in my cubed column. And then 8x again to this guy. Remember, don't forget, got to make sure I distribute it to that. That gives me negative 16x squared, and I'm keeping it in my actual x squared column. So that's beautiful. So I've just distributed that. Notice, again, the product, go, um, the product goes under the remaining terms, and make sure you line up your like terms. Sweet. Next step, that's subtract, 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 everything up here we're subtracting to everything down here. So this guy right here, technically, yes, you put parentheses around it, so I'm subtracting this entire thing here that's in pink, I'm subtracting it from everything that's up here on the top. Everything. So when I subtract that, as Elmer Fudd here says, be, be, be very, very careful. <laughs> Not very. He, he would never say ours. He says very, very. So be very, very careful. When you subtract these, remember, it has to go like this. When you subtract all of this stuff right here from the top, it's as if you're subtracting it all, so you have to distribute this negative three here so the signs change. So this goes to a negative and this changes to a plus. So it's subtracting. Distribute the negative through there. So now when I combine my like terms here, when I add down my columns or subtract down my columns, whatever you want to say, I'm going to get a zero. These disappear. That's good. And then negative 4x squared plus 16x squared gives me positive 12x squared. So I subtract all that. 
Uh, don't forget, this is also why you want to be very, very careful, because these things over here, even though there's nothing here, there's just zeros, you're still subtracting them, so they still bring that, you still bring those things down. So I'd still bring down the plus 3x, and I would plus 1. So when I subtract all of this stuff here, in this particular line that I'm circling, from everything on top, the red stuff up here, I get 0, I get 12x squared, I get 3x, and I get 1. Sweet. Guess what? Now you're through the first three steps. And notice step 4 says we repeat steps 1 through 3 until we actually get a constant. Notice I do not have a constant yet. So what's that mean? I keep going back to step 1. So we back up here to step 1. Yeah. So now I divide the dividend's highest power. Now my dividend piece that's left is this. So this, I'll back to, go back to colors. So this is now my highest power, my dividend, and I divide that by the divisor's highest power. This still is the highest power. This is never going to change. It's always going to be the highest power. So when I do that, let me erase some of this. It's getting no good. Okay? So I'm taking this thing and dividing it by that. I'll do it over here to the right. 12x squared divided by x. So this thing divided by the first thing. First thing divided by first. First divided by first gives you just 12x. And this guy here goes, you got it, up here in my x to the first column. Why did I put a plus there, modern? Because it's a positive 12. Sometimes you might get negative when you divide, and you put a subtraction. It's a negative 12. This one just happens to be a positive. That's why it's positive 12. Oh, step number two. Distribute the monomial to everything in the divisor. So this thing here that I just got, the positive 12, I have to distribute that here to the x, and I distribute it here to the 2. Oh yeah, we're just, we're just repeating the steps we just did. It's exactly right. And as I multiply those, as the step says over here, I'm going to put the product underneath the remaining terms and make sure I line up my terms. So 12x times x gives me positive 12x squared. And then I take 12x times this thing, the negative 2, and that gives me negative 24x. So there I've distributed the 12x to both of these things right here, this binomial. And now i gotta be, I got to be very, very careful and subtract. So I subtract all of this stuff, which means I'm going to, well, I just kind of made my uh, colors weird. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to subtract all of this from this green thing right here, which means I change the sign. So that goes to subtraction. This goes to addition. So I change my signs, and I combine my terms. That's 0. They just go to 0. <laughs> 3x and 24x goes to 27x. And then uh, there's nothing here, so when I pull that down, it's just a plus 1. Man, do I have a constant yet? No, I do not. So let's keep on going. I repeat. I go back to step number 1. I divide the dividend's highest power, which now happens to be the 27x. That's my highest power in my dividend, what remains. And I still have the x over here as my highest power. So I do 27x divided by x, which gives me 27. So that number there goes up here. Bam. And then I distribute the monomial to everything in the divisor. So here we go again. So 27 times that x gives me 27x. 27 times the negative 2 gives me negative 54, I believe. And then I have to go to step 3 where I subtract. Great. I subtract. I change my sign, subtract, subtract, which means the signs change. I then add these guys together, so these go away, sweet. And oh, finally, 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 look there. I'm left with a constant. Sweet. So now, I'm finally done. I can go to step five, and my final answer is all of this stuff up here, that trinomial, so it is 8x squared plus 12x plus 27, and then as step number five says, I must add, that's right, add, I'm going to make it just a different color. I'm going to, whoa, hello. I'm going to add, 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 add the remainder as the constant. The constant in this case happened to be 55. So it's 55 over, over the divisor. And the divisor was this thing right here. So I do this. As ugly as that answer is, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. That is the answer when you divide x minus 2 into this entire polynomial right there. Answer, 8x squared plus 12x plus 27 plus 55 over x minus 2. Bam!